So we see uh, California is burning up in certain parts all the time. We always see every year, everybody talk about earthquakes out here, but every year the most high burn this place up. There's always fires out here. That's what's made me out here in California, fires. Fires burning here, burning there. So if people concerned about earthquakes, they'll be concerned about fires. But many of the fires don't be in our in the hood. It'll be mainly where you saw live at. So Colossians 3 17 says, And whatsoever I do in word or deed, do all by a shovel my shot cover shot. Give me thanks to the most high and the father by a shovel my shot cover shot. By him, by a mushak cover shot. So we give thanks to the most high and the father by a shovel my shot. The house shot. Giving him all praise and glory. He worthy to be praised for everything. So we're gonna look at uh these fires that's going on, but we gotta look at where they're coming from. You see, that's why I always say, you know, people are always concerned about, you know, the race wars and what's gonna happen and even the time that we're in now, but I always say you gotta be concerned about the most high. You gotta be concerned about the angels. Because nobody ever seen the most high, never heard his voice, nobody ever, you know. The true essence of the Most High, we cannot even contain. I mean, flesh and blood cannot be before the Most High. So, He is everything. And when you understand, like you go to Ecclesiasticus. Can I be heard okay? Ecclesiasticus. Thirty-nine. Okay, the water. 39, Ecclesiastes in the pocket, 39 and 28. Because everything they give a name to it, like this fire in San Bernardino, they got a name for it. You know what I mean? But it's not anything to do with the Most High. They call it something, but it's not concerning the Most High. So listen, it says, Ecclesiastes 39 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him them. So they appease the wrath of the Most High who made them. So vengeance mean they gon' it's a payback. It's a job of fury, anger, and destruction and woe that the most high bring it upon someone. They appeasing the rap of the most high who made it. Now it names them. Fire. And that's what we see out here in Cali every year. Fire. Something burning up. Every year. It's getting worse and worse for y'all. I believe it was uh because I have people that's, you know, just feeling the smoke, you know, smelling the smoke and the ash uh, is, you know, all over the place in the air. They didn't evacuate 82,000 people. 82,000. That's almost 100,000 people. That was uh, earlier today. The and they say that they have a fire 0% contained. Because out there they have what they call the Santa Ana winds. And if you know anything about the fires, these fires, like it'd be like a, a tornado come through. And they roll around in that fire and that fire lifts off the, off the ground and it goes in the air. So you have a big giant fireball that's, that's why when they go to the edge of the freeway, you almost have to send the wind and it'll gather the fire into a big ball and it'll go off the ground and it'll travel somewhere and land on a house or on the other side of the freeway or just to continue that fire going forward. So the first thing he says is fire. What is this? There be spirits, in verse 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. See? 
fire. Verse 29. Fire, that's the first thing you name. Because the most high, you're going to see that he's a consuming fire. In hell. In famine. Food shortages. And death. When you bring about death, those are spirits that's created for vengeance. Death. All these were created for vengeance. See? Fire, hell, famine, and death. All these were created by, for vengeance. And it goes on to say, teeth of wild beasts, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. See? So when you look at, okay, well, you're concerned about us, you got to be concerned about these spirits. Look where they're at. They shall rejoice. They will be happy in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth. They're going to be ready right here on the earth. That's where they're at, on the earth. They're going to be ready upon the earth. Where are we at? On the earth. So where these spirits of vengeance are the most high at? They're right here on this earth. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall re re they shall be ready upon earth when need is. That's why most I say that need is there. And you understand this. It's like somebody, it could have been from somebody having a lit cigarette, because it's such uh, a drought out here, no rain, no you know, rain, and it's so hot, you know. Or the most I could have sent lightning down. And start it. Or somebody take a, one cigarette and flip it out, and all that blaze is gone. And many people could have done it, and it didn't happen. You understand? But the most I said, when this cigarette goes out, whoo, that's all I need. Whoo, but the spark could have started, and any one cigarette, or anyone had a fire, but it started this time. The time that Moses said he going not have them spirits. A spirit called fire. Or spirits, it says. They don't say one spirit, it says there be spirits. So there are angels. So you understand the spirits are the angels. So where they at? They right here. So they're gonna where they at? They said they shall rejoice, verse 31, in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come. They shall not transgress his word. See, they, they're very obedient. The ultimate obedience they are to the most high. They rejoice to do his commandment. Here, we got to work hard to get people to just follow the laws of the most high. When the angels are rejoicing, and those, you said, said there be spirits, or what are the spirits? I keep saying angels. Let me let you know and see that these angels are spirits. And the spirits are angels. Psalms 104. And four. Psalms 104 and 4. Who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. So, a lot of times you see this fire, you see his ministers what? A flaming fire. What's the first spirit of vengeance or spirits of vengeance that he named? Fire. It's the reason. To understand, when you understand and overstand the point of the most high who he is. Look at Deuteronomy. 424. Deuteronomy 424. Deuteronomy 4 and 24. For the most high power, our power, thy power is a consuming fire. You hear that? The most high our power is a consuming fire. Even a jealous power. Yeah. People think they're getting away with everything. You can get away with nothing with the Most High. He see everything. Hebrews 12, 29. For all you say, oh, that's the Old Testament. Let's look at Hebrews 12, 29. This is our power. Most High. I love y'all to His holy name. I'm ready to be praised. Hebrews 12 and 29. For our power is a consuming fire. 
Yeah, our power is a consuming fire. That's who we serve. It's I serve him, mm -hmm. what everybody else. You might not serve him. That's who I serve, Mosai. He's a consuming fire. Look. That's why you can't really, you can't, you, you can't be playing with the Mosai. A lot of people, and nobody ever seen him, nobody ever heard his voice, nobody ever, really, he always have an angel. Like you say, he has every spirits. They bring forth the wrath of the Most High, the angels. So he make up his, his angel spirits. And this is all here, y'all. Look at uh, Deuteronomy 9 and 3. Deuteronomy 9 and 3. Let's not bring a vision for some reason. Understand therefore this day that the most of that power is he which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them. Read to you again. Understand therefore this day this day, I love it when you say this day because it still applies to this day. That the Most High thy power, the Most High our power, power who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel, is he which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shall I drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Most High have said unto me. See? That's our power. And that's what we do. He's a consuming fire. See? And, but he's not giving any recognition. See, we look at these spirits. I mean, come on. Look at John 4.24. St. John 4.24. John 4.24 The Mosai is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. See, see a lot of people they don't, they don't understand the Most High and his power his ultimate power of everything. See, you want to limit him. You can't want to limit him into, and put him in a box. Something that you can relate to. But you can't do that. He's everything. You see, and that's why people are really mistaking him. And that's why they call these fires, we just deal with the fire by different names, but it's not the most high. It has nothing to do with the most high to the system that we involved in here. Whatever. Nobody's saying the most high this, the most high that is doing this. He's not being recognized. No, oh, they're gonna recognize him. He's gonna be recognized. He's gonna be recognized. You gotta believe that. Everybody will be praised for everything. And a lot of people don't have to pay because they neglect to see him. Look at uh
Look at uh, Numbers 21st chapter. Numbers 21. This is the time the most I was giving us his laws and telling us about himself. Do the angel talking to Moses. Nobody ever heard the most high voice or seen his shape or seen his similitude of who he really is. Ever. To get Psalms 21. So, like to get Psalms 21. And verse 9. Let's see what's talking about. Let's look at verse 8, Psalms 21 and 8. It says, Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thine mean your, your enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. See? It says, Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Okay? Who the most high's hand? He told us back in... Uh, Psalm 17 and 14, he said, From men which are thy hand, O Most High. See? So, going back to Psalm 21 and 8, it says, Thine hand, which are the men, shall find out all thine enemies. Oh, yeah. And when you bring forth the truth, all the Most High's enemies are being shown. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. See? He said his right hand gonna find out all those that hate him. Hate him. Who's his right hand? Where'd he go? He'll be on the right hand side of the most high. So he's taking note. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. Woo! A fiery oven? See right now he said hey. The, the nations have not been judged. Whatever you see now, whatever's happening on this earth, this is not the judgment that the Most High, the ultimate judgment that the Most High says he's going to do. Right now he's just playing around. This stuff is just really shallow compared to what he's going to do. Look, it says, Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Most High shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. See? That's really, really, really something to understand. This is what's happening. Because remember, he put the rainbow in the sky to remind himself he's not going to bring the water to flood the earth anymore. He's coming with fire. He's coming with fire, like it says there. Look at 2 Peter's. 3 and 10. But the day of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahushua, because he's coming, will come as a thief in the night. You don't know when a thief coming. Therefore, we're going to catch everybody by surprise, those that don't know the prophecies. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's fire going to melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. That's fire. 
seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved by what? Fire. We talk about a fire hotter than what you see burning now. Mosai had a bunch of shot make everything. So you think he, and he allowing everything to be made that's made now. They said everything is nothing standing in this fire except for steel. Steel gonna melt from the fire of the Most High. Everything, he said, you know what he said? Saying then that all these things shall be dissolved. You hear? Dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and righteousness? Looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahushai, wherein the heavens being on fire, you hear that? The heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, shall be dissolved, dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's prophecy. That didn't happen during the time of Peter. They killed him hanging up, upside down. But he'll be back. Because he died by Hashem Mashiach the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. With the gift of the Holy Spirit. Nevertheless, we according to his promise. Who was his promise given to? Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to the twelve tribes of Israel. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. See? We're looking for this new heaven and new earth in righteousness. That's why I say you have to be as wicked as ever not to want to be in a righteous kingdom when you see all the things that's going on that's contrary to righteousness, to the way of the Most High. You have to be wicked as ever. You deserve death if you love all the things you see going on in this world, all the wickedness that's going on with wicked people and what they're doing. From a young age, what the most I say gonna kill even little children, all the way to older people. Verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found in of him in peace, without spot and blameless. See? You want to be found in peace. Without spot, without sins. And blameless, having a broken and contrite spirit before the Most High, and not faltering. That's why it's very important to learn His laws, statutes, commandments, and come back to Him and follow Him. Don't get caught up in this wicked world. Second Thessalonians one and eight. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 8. The first chapter, the eighth verse. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our power, the Mashiach Yahushua, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Most High while Mashiach that was shine from the glory of His power. That glory is that fire. <laughs> when He shall come to be glorified in His saints. Who the saints? Psalms 148, 14. The children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. He shall be glorified in His saints and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Hope you believe this. Because this is going out to everyone. Some gonna hear, some not gonna hear. Some gonna be too prideful 
to have too much pride in them to really look at this. And then in the end, they're going to call on the most high. He's going to laugh at you. He's going to mock you. It's, it's, it's all there. It's all in the scriptures. That's why you got to get, get rid of that pride. Too much pride in our, our nation and the world, period. Because you're following the way of the world. The system says, hey, be private. You know, follow your heart. Do whatever you want to do. As long as it's all right. And it goes along with their rules and regulations. Not the most high rules and, rules and regulations, but their rules and regulations. That's why people are going to be finding it will be the world of trouble. Job 15, 34. And then that's, that trouble is going to be with the Most High. Not man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. The living power. He lives. He lives. There's no beginning, no ending to him. He's pure power. Job 15 and 34. For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. All of them that's thinking they get away with something. Bribing somebody. Be burnt up. Period. Deuteronomy 32 and 22. Deuteronomy 32 and 22. A lot of people lost a lot of, they lose a lot of homes. They've been losing a lot of homes through the fire. The insurance company is going down. It's a lot they got to put out. But they didn't collect it a lot without putting out anything. Listen, Deuteronomy 32 and 22. For fire is kindled in my anger. For fire is kindled in my anger. And shall burn unto the lowest hell. You know? So, he said, a fire is kindled in his anger. And shall burn to the lowest hell. And shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them. Remember those spirits. Teeth of wild beasts, teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. Woo. The sword without. See? The sword without. And terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the young woman. The suckling, even babies, also with the man of gray hairs. See what I said? Older men, younger men, even babies, he said. The suckling, the suckling also, that ain't no baby that's nursing. We'll get them too. See? That's to us, the children of Israel. We, you don't want to follow me? That's what most said he's going to do. And he did it. You say what he's going to do? He did it. We are the victims of it. The Lord Yah, his holy man. The words be praised, because his word is true. Israel didn't want to follow us, so we, we suffer. And now you nations, y'all got to pay the price too. Psalms 11 and 6. Psalms 11 and 6. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares. Upon the wicked, he's going to rain traps on you. Everywhere you look, going to be a trap fire and brimstone and in horrible tempests this shall be the portion of their cup because they don't know the most high they give them all kind of names besides his name even acknowledging him he said hey the most high is consuming fire 
You the one that's bringing it. You the one that's bringing this fire. They want. They want to make up names and call them something else. You know. You see, it's burning. It's burning bad. But, you know, everybody want to still call them Mother Nature. And they're going to blame it on the drought. They're going to blame it on this. They're going to blame it on that. Anything but giving the most high the acknowledgement of he's doing it. Like I said, somebody could have been picking uh, cigarettes or a little fire and was able to put it out. It didn't cause the damage that it's caused. It, all this damage would be caused just by one person flickering a cigarette in its own. Because the most I decreed it to happen. See? And that's how this works, people. No more, no less. We're just subject to the judgment of the most fun. That's you play around, having fun. But it's, gonna be, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be fun, like I said, when he bring, like I said in, in Psalm 11 and 6, upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and in horrible temples. This shall be the portion of their cup. So you have our people, what are they doing? They only they only know one way and that's to follow the wicked that's why look uh, when uh, a Mashiach Yavashai come back And like I say, he's coming like a thief in the night, but he's coming with fire. You see, all the elements gonna be melted, right? So he gonna present this lake of fire, and he tells you in Revelation twenty chapter and verse fifteen. Well, I read verse fourteen. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Yeah, this is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So your name not written in the book of life? Because the books, in many books, our lives are, are, are being recorded. Our lives are being recorded. And in the end, they're gonna, the book's going to be open. And if your name not written in the book of life, you'll be cast into the lake of fire. That's why you gotta repent. You start to learn the laws of the Most High and start doing what's right according to His rules and regulations. If your name not written in the Book of Life, you will be cast into the lake of fire. You know? Look at 19, Revelation 19 and 20. It says, and the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet, all these false preachers, especially the Catholic Church starting from there, was trickling on down to every last one of the false prophets that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worship his image, like Caesar Borgia, or his image and essence of following his way, come on now, because when the Most High said he came down, he said, let us go down and make man in our image and our likeness. No, that wasn't, Most High ain't no flesh and blood. He's not flesh and blood. So it wasn't talking about us being like him 
and his uh, essence of seeing how he looks and so forth is about being righteous, being humble, having a broken and contrite spirit before him and following his laws, chapter commandments. That's the image that he's saying. And being righteous, that's the Mashiach Shai came here on this earth and showed us as being an example to show that it could be done. It's just our people, they, you're caught up in the system. We all could be caught up in the system at any moment of time, you know. And then that's why you got to repent, you got to come out of that. And once you know what you know in the scriptures, then you got to live a certain way. And don't let everybody deviate you from that way, from what you know and wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Sometimes it could be hurtful, but you still got to bring it because it is what it is. Sometimes love is a hurting thing, right? But you can love them, let them say you love them, you got to tell them what's right. So they can make it. Listen. And the beast was taken and, and, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he received them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. See? And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse which sword proceeded out of his mouth and all his fowls were filled with their flesh. The birds, the buzzards gonna come down and eat them up. All the birds gonna be filled with their flesh. That's why you see. I saw the beast. The beast is talking about the system that we're in right now, America, and all the things they set up. That's the beast. And the kings of the earth and their armies, see this? And their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on a horse. Who was this on a horse? Well, this is 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. This is Mashiach ever shot. Righteous power, and he that sat upon it was called faithful and true. Mashiach ever shot. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. So we're going to make war with it. It's right here. Verse 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth. All these kings of the earth. And their armies. You hear this? Their armies. Gathered together to make war against him that sat on a horse. And against his army. Against his army. You see? So now. Look at uh He had an army that's coming with 200 million angels. I'll tell you that in uh, Revelation 9 16. So you see the kings of the earth and their armies will come together to fight him. And, I, and the number of the army or the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. I heard the number of them. 200 million angels. So all these nations. You see the kings of the earth and the beast following America, the system, the image, going to come together to fight him, Mashiach and his armies, it says. Now let's see what's going to happen. So we're talking about fire. Roll me because I don't have this prepared. It's just, I just looked at how things are being burnt up out here in San Bernardino. Second Ezra's 13th chapter in the pocket. Second Ezra's 13th chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night. But that's how the most I deal with. We the prophets and this is how we deal with some most, most, most of us, I'll say, as such, in Job 33, 14 and 15. 
and it's always been this way. That's why when people say the Most High came down and said something that dealt with them, it was an angel. It was, the Most High ain't nobody heard his voice. Nobody ain't never seen the Most High. Uh, Job 33, 14. For the Most High speaking once, yea, twice, yet man perceive it not. In a dream, remember he's speaking. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, he in slumberings upon the bed. Then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instructions, give them instructions. Hear it? That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. See? And keep him back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. Telling you what to do. So now, that's why you see here in 2nd Ezra 13, and it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. So he's dreaming a dream by night. Besides visiting him. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea in his dream, that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong. This one that's on his white horse, coming in righteousness to judge and make war. With the thousands of with the thousands of heaven. How many thousand? We just read about it. Thousand, thousand, right? Two hundred million angels. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Everything trembled that was seen under him. And after this I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men See, remember what it said in Revelation. And I saw the beast in Revelation uh, 19 and 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the earth, of course, and against his army. 2nd Ezra 13 and 5. And after this I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. See? All these armies, navies, marines, and air force will come together to fight Amashiach and his armies and his 200 million angels. <coughs> but I beheld and lo, he had gathered himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen a region or a place where as they were out the hill was graven, and I could not, <clears throat> because it wasn't a mountain. It was the children of Israel. This is what he's seen. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together, the army, the navy, the marines, and the air force of all these different nations on this earth, future prophecy, 